you will hear eight of the words from the list above. Number the words you hear from one to eight, and underline the stressed syllable. A cooker. A shower. A fireplace. A washing machine. A wardrobe. A stereo system. A bookcase. A television. Rita wants to rent a flat. You'll hear her talking to a landlord about it. Which room is the landlord describing? Choose A or B. One. And what's the living room like? Quite big. It's got a sofa and two chairs as well as a dining table. Two. Is there a shower as well as a bath in the bathroom? No, there's only a shower, I'm afraid. Three. What's the bedroom got in it? A double bed and a dressing table. Four. Could you tell me about the kitchen? Well, it's got a new cooker, and a small fridge, and plenty of cupboards. Five. What's the small bedroom got in it? Just a bed and a small chest of drawers. Mrs. Keene has just arrived at her hotel. Listen to the porter showing her where things are in her room. Number the correct places in the picture. This is your room, Mrs. Keene. I hope you'll be comfortable here. You'll find your towels in the bathroom. The light switch for the bathroom is to the right of the door. The phone's next to your bed, and there's a phone book in the drawer underneath. If you'd like some coffee or tea, there's a kettle and a cup and saucer on the shelf above the desk. On the desk, you'll find some information about the hotel. There's an ashtray next to the phone. On the bedside table, listen to people talking about where they live. Tick the picture of the house or building they're talking about. One. What's your new house like, Jean? It's nice. It's got a big garage, which is what I like. Two. Is your house that stone one with the fence around it? Yes, that's right. Three. Do you still live in that lovely old house on Elm Street? Yes, it's the one with the big trees around it. Four. Have you got a garden?、Uh, no, we haven't, unfortunately. Five. What's your block of flats like? It's an old four-story building. Six. Which floor is your flat on? I live on the top floor. Seven. Where's the entrance to your block of flats? It's at the side. Eight. Can you park near your flat? Yes, there are several parking spaces in front of the building. Listen to people phoning their friends. Tick where each person is. One. Could I speak to Kathy, please? Do you want me to get her? She's working on her car. Two. Is Bill there, please? Ah,、oh, yes. Just a moment. I think he's still asleep. Three. I'd like to speak to Susan, please. Could you ring back in ten minutes? She's just having a bath. Four. Is Terry there, please? 
Oh, he's not here right now. Five. Could I speak to Mr. Lee, please? Could you call back in a little while? He's cooking right now. Six. Is Helen busy at the moment? Well, she's just watching the volleyball game on television. I'll get her. Roy and Sylvia have a lot of things to do this weekend. Listen to them deciding which things they want to do. Put a tick in the correct column to show who does what. There's so much to do today. What do you want to do? Well, I'll clean the bathroom if you like. Okay, and I'll take out the rubbish. What about the shopping? Oh, I'll go shopping. I tell you what, I'll clean the car and then go shopping. Right. I'll vacuum the carpet then. But I need to clean the fridge. Oh, leave the fridge. Clean it next week. Okay. But I'll clean the windows. All right. And I'll put the groceries away when I get back. Fine. I'm going to leave the sheets. I'll iron them later. You're at home with your flatmate, Virginia. Listen to what she says. What do you think she's going to ask you to do? Tick what you think she'll ask. One. I'd like to watch the news. Two. I'm getting rather hungry. Three. It's very windy outside. Four. It's very dark in here. Five. It's very cold in this room. <laughs>